Okay, so here's an update on my painting. I painted the deck lid, put it back on, and the paint turned out absolutely, positively terrible. I am having one heck of a time with the paint gun. Uh, it's The volume of the paint has been very inconsistent. And um, I kept trying to adjust it, but it's coming out very unevenly. I had a lot of... Uh, it's just coming out too. The the mist is not fine enough, I guess. It's, it's coming out in big chunks. It's kind of splattering. So this is going to be a total redo. The paint itself, I just got a. Uh, I went to an auto body shop supply, got kind of a house brand fleet vehicle single stage. The paint itself, I've let it cure for about two three days, and I mean it's on there. I'm. I'm not dissatisfied with the paint at all. I just have to uh, figure out how to get it to lay down properly. Which is posing to be a major challenge for me. But I'll get it figured out. Um, you know, these things always take ten times as long as anyone would have ever imagined. <laughs> but uh, it's all a learning curve. I'm not a pro by any means. I've never painted a car, so this is my first go around at it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, between this car... So when I first got this car, this whole middle section here, I mean, the whole center of the car was sun-faded extremely, extremely bad. So the paint was complete trash on it to begin with. Um, it didn't have a lot of dents in it. You're going to see little... You know, it's got little tiny dents here and there. I mean, that's just what you get with a $1,000 car. But anyway, once I get the paint to lay down smoothly, sand it, buff it, I think what it will turn out okay. I like the color. I think a clean, simple white is going to look really good on this car. Anyway, that's the update. I will make another video when I get the paint gun situation figured out and uh, quick glimpse this is the next project this is a 85 Corvette that I picked up um, it's about the cheapest Corvette that I could find period um, interior is pretty decent for an 85 it's not tore up or anything I yanked the steering wheel out of it because I don't like ratty steering wheels so it's gonna get a new one and uh, these are these are a lot more complicated to uh, replace than I would have imagined. The connection's kind of unusual. Um, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. I've flushed all the fluids out. Car seems not terribly neglected, but it certainly was neglected by its last owner. The fluids were pretty dirty. Tires are super, super old. Um, tread's good, but they're just kind of dry rotted. But same kind of situation with this is the Lincoln. I mean, it's just sun faded so bad, you know. Uh, but out here in Oklahoma, the sun's pretty intense in the summer, so that's not exactly surprising. But none of the fiberglass is uh, cracked or chipped, so once I figure out how to properly apply some paint, this should be a pretty easy, easy uh, project. Because there's not much else that I'm going to do to this one other than paint it. Anyway, that's the update. I'll be back in a week or two.